our staff have almost become like mini celebrities. I have no idea what any of this stuff is, but it looks like great fun. Meet Hideki Nugent, proud owner of this manga store in Glasgow. Manga is a type of Japanese comic. With spin-offs into merchandise and film and television, it's an industry worth billions globally. I used to work in the games industry where I was a graphic designer. Unfortunately, that company went bust. And I went to the job centre, there's a poster on the wall and it said, we can help you start your own business if you come up with the idea. They gave me a year of training and it's become what it has become today after about 12 years of work. In that time, Nugent has graduated from bedroom to market stall and now a manga empire of two shops. With a successful one established in Birmingham, he was able to open a new one in Glasgow this April. We were walking past and my daughter dragged me into the shop. As well as locals, the shop attracts pilgrims from further afield. I'm from China. Hi. I come here because I love this Pikachu. But for die-hard local fans like these, the shop is also a place to hang out. It's creative, it's passionate, it's got everything. I love it. It allows you to think outside the box. So it does. When we applied for Glasgow, we had 819 people apply for the job and they were all anime fans. This sense of community and belonging might help to explain why the shop attracts a very different kind of person. My son's autistic and we'll absolutely love it in here. We live two and a half hours away, but we're going to have to come back by train. But lots of his friends like it and it, it sort of brings him together, like as a community type thing. It's kind of like his safe place, if you will. If he's having a bad day, it calms him right down. Now meet Brendan Doig, a supervisor at the shop, who is on the autistic spectrum. There's certain things about manga that I think appeal to autistic people. Everything's fairly bombastic and dramatic. There's no subtlety in manga really. Even something about people, it's just people talking is drawn in such a way that it's huge. I, I'm quite good at knowing. <laughs> you just need to be aware of the telltale signs of it, whether it's putting their hands together like this in front of something they really like, that's usually a sign. There's no middle ground. You either really, really love something and that's your end all and be all, that's your day and there's other things that you hate, and that's just the way it is. It's not really hate, you just don't care, you don't have any opinion on it. But when you get those people, it's really fun for us, because that's kind of where we are on, <laughs> on the, the realm of kind of loving this stuff. Aware that the exhibitionism of the staff might put off some autistic people, the shop has devised a strategy to get around this. We've come up with Coco's Calm Tuesday. So Coco Monkey is our mascot, and we have a picture of him meditating. Tuesday will be the day that we recommend our customers to come who want a much more calmer environment. So we'll turn the music down and we'll wind down our staff a little bit as well. 